Wow. Three months without vlogging, eh? Now I know what y'all are thinking. Tom, where the hell have you been? This is supposed to be a weekly university vlog, not a three month hiatus vlog. What's happened, man? Well, I'll tell you what happened. University. That's what's happened. I've been working hard on loads of deadlines after deadline after deadline. Trying my hardest to get them all done. And what do I get in return? Good grades. Yes, good grades. I've been working extremely hard on my deadlines. If y'all are wondering about what my grades are, it's a good mix between some firsts, some grade firsts, some grade two ones, and a couple of grade two twos. The um, two ones and first out number the two two, so that is great. Pretty good progress I'm making in university so far. And the um, lecturers are impressed at the work I'm producing. And I'm happy that I've um, worked hard on them. And I'm still working hard on some even right now. Now, as you all know, due to the coronavirus outbreak and being on lockdown in the UK, we all have no choice but to do our uh, university work at home, which, which is okay. I'm coping well. It's nothing you can really do about it. We're expecting it to be over in at least three to six months. God knows exactly when, but we'll just have to put up with it for the time being. And I'm trying to make the best of it by getting on with my work and making sure it's handed in by the next deadlines, which are both in early and late-ish May, respectively. Now, in the recent video I put up, or one of the recent videos, depending on what um, website I posted the video on, I did a short behind-the-scenes sneak peek of the animation I'm working on for my animation pipeline. And yeah, I'm currently working on that round the clock to try and get it done in time for the deadline, which is on May the 22nd. The other, the other module I'm doing, Sequential Narrative Coursework 2, is on May the 5th. Now, as well as keeping myself busy, I've had, I still kept myself busy with downtime in the evenings, like going on the PS4, watching stuff on Disney+, Plus, Netflix, etc. By the way, I'm really enjoying Disney Plus to the max. And I highly recommend you watch The Mandalorian. Such a great show. More episodes are to come, so be prepared. There's three episodes so far. And we're expected to have another five, in the UK at least. But enough about Disney+. Plus. We're still carrying on with lessons, yeah? And we're still liaising with our lecturers via Google Hangouts. And what we do nowadays, since we're indoors doing work outside of university, which is practically like open university this time of year, or at least until we go back to main campus, um, we present what we do so far, what we have done so far for our respected modules. Via we transfer and then the lecturers give us feedback on what their suggestions should be, what they suggest we could do to progress our outcomes further in order to look presentable. So yeah, stuff like that. But yeah, even though I physically miss my friends and I physically miss the modules I take part in for university. I'm still doing fine communication and work-wise. I still talk to my friends on Facebook, Instagram, etc. And I still do the work from home anyway, because I got all the software I need. I had it all prior to switching from graphics to animation the moment I got my Mac. I've had this Adobe account since 2018, and it's been like two years, and it's been... And I've updated now and again to make sure it's up to date with the respected year we're in. Like for example, I'm using Adobe 2020 package. Now what I was worried about when working on the animation at home as well as in university. Because I started the animation on Adobe Animate 2020 at home. I was worried it wasn't going to be compatible 
on the computers in college. Well, not so much the computers itself, it's just the um, version of the Adobe package we had in the class, which was like version 2019. So I took it in anyway, booked it up, and what do you know? It works anyway. Maybe it's got the same tools. It's practically no different, apart from interface-wise. I find 2020 easier to understand visually and it's quicker to access certain things like the onion skinning on Adobe Animate at least. I've used Photoshop for years prior to Mastering Flash and I've used Illustrator as well so I spend most of my time doing art more than animation despite the animation I did like seven eight years ago earlier when I started YouTube. So yeah, I'm still enjoying using Adobe Animate, so there'll be more animations to come after I finish this one off. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm coping well with um, working from home during the COVID-19 lockdown. Still in touch with all my friends from uni, and um, yeah, everything's going smoothly. I will let you all know in further days to come to see how far I progressed. I might might do another vlog after I handed everything in. I don't know yet. But you know, stay tuned for whenever I can post the next vlog. Take care and have a great day. Oh and happy April Fool's Day guys. No this isn't an April Fool's prank. Just saying happy April Fool's Day because we're in April now. So yeah, that's all folks. See you again soon. Bye.